We're at Armand's house. This place was built in 1837. <laughs> <laughs> there are three confirmed deaths in this house since he moved in. We thought tonight, since we don't have a hunt this weekend, we're halfway through the year. It might be kind of fun to just kind of rewind and- Chip looks so jealous and pissed right now. <laughs> it might be fun. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so before we get into details of kind of like th what this year means, maybe comment down below in the comment section of some of the places you would like us to go. We're open to going to more places outside of this general area. At a certain point, we're gonna hit all of them. So we've been ghost hunting for like two years and I know we're only halfway through, but it was kind of an exciting year. We had just been posting stuff on Facebook and we moved over to YouTube and I mean, within a year, like you said, we got monetized. My DoorDash is here. God. This is my third dinner tonight. Take that up real quick. How heavy is that? It's seven Dude, it pounds. sounds like... That's a five pound weight. They only gave me one fry. What do you guys think was the biggest bust of the year? This. I would oh. say like not a single place overall has been a big bummer to me. Yeah. But it's it's been the places that we've gone to where there's like 60 other people. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was not a fan of not being able to set up a lot of abandonment stuff in um, Waverly. Waverly. Another one that was kind of, and I don't want to say a bust as a location, but a bust for what I was looking for was brushing. Yeah. At one point it probably was crazy, but it's almost come off as too commercialized now. In addition to their, us not being able to go in certain areas, whether there was like, there was storm damage, I think from like the week before. Yeah. So that's why one of the locations was closed on site, which is understandable, but there were buildings out front that we were like, oh, so can we go in those? Cause they were talking to us about that earlier in the night. And then they said, oh, if we knew you wanted to go, we would have unlocked it. And then they didn't get up. So I took that as my cue to like back out of the room. Yeah. Like what other people don't understand too, is like some of our equipment relies on the reception that we're able to get. Yeah, yeah I was just and about to bring that up. these places are nothing but full on concrete. walled concrete. Yeah. So we talked about the low lights. Was there a highlight? What was everyone's favorite part of the year so far? I don't know if it was my favorite. But the place that absolutely surprised us, absolutely, and it was us four, Hill Forest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was that place, we were invited to go there. We didn't pay a dime. It was super close to our house. I think that was also the place that we had the most fun. I think we had a lot of fun there. You and me had the us. shit yeah. scared out of us outside. Yeah. Thought something was coming out of the woods at us. Yeah, let's talk about the road trip. Yeah. You know what we did talk about was the, how creepy that Airbnb was. Yeah, the one that had the music box that went off by itself in the middle of the night. Yeah. I thought you guys were messing with me. Our mom was like yelling at us. I was freaking out. There's we were freaking like, music we didn't box. do anything. Yeah, in between both rooms, just in the middle of the night, just starts going off. I'm like, I guess I'm gonna die. <laughs> not even like, not even like a ghost hunting music box. Well, like, it was like you have to wind yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah. 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 No, I, I enjoyed it. I think it had one of my favorite just places, maybe not from a like evidence standpoint, but just being in a, a movie theater. The best. Far enough. That's favorites. my favorite place we've ever been was the movie theater. What do we think of the bookstore? I thought that was a really unique place that you don't see a lot of times. I thought that was a place where we were able to kind of come together again because we had taken a little bit of a break. For the holidays. Yeah, coming back and it was a perfect like kind of get your feet wet again into the investigating. We really try to like mix it up. You know what I mean? As we go, try to do some some newer things every location that we get to. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite shots that I think we've ever done was you and I down in the basement. That split screen, yeah, split. but it's with the shelf. Yeah, yeah. that was that. that was your idea. That was so cool. Just watching that there was 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 nice because I couldn't see you, mm -hmm. but you can tell like by the split of the shelf that you and I were looking at. As you were reacting thing. to yeah. the yeah. same thing. In the moment, I was yeah. like, man, that was so cool. I thought it was a unique location. I don't feel like we got too terribly much. The ball moving at the end. The ball moving is insane. It Especially is. with Post Town too. Yeah. It is, I'm just saying the rest As of the- As a whole, like, no, I When you have agree. the abandonment stuff, it's easy to go back and say it was crazy. But For in sure. the moment when we were there, it felt like there was Tank. not a whole yeah. lot. Agreed, yeah. agreed. Agree. Post Town was cool because almost two years to the day, we went from when we went there two years ago. You had never been there before. I had never been. I think it was a perfect recreation because one of the things when we first went, I'm not sure if it's the same for Trevor, again, very much skeptical, but like that first night, just being in a rundown place like that, I had a little bit of the heat and TVs the first time we went, so I wanted to see if it was truly the location or just the first time jitters, and I think it was great to go back and what was your assessment? Assessment? Yeah. And I think it did. I mean, when we first set Caleb up, Man, I felt like as soon as we were there, stuff was happening. Now it yeah, felt like it died down a bit, which daylight. is daylight. Yeah, the daylight was, was weirdly super helpful. But yeah, those first few minutes where we set you in that chair, that was 
some intense stuff. That was probably one, the longest time I've ever been by myself. It was over an hour. The craziest thing to me is when we were walking away, we were hearing stuff in the hallways mm -hmm. the entire time. Like, are we sure we should leave alone? <laughs> and we've done our first ever collab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did two hunts in one day with Spirit Stalkers who could not have been nicer. And the little circle that we run in, they're like kind of the top dogs as far as like views and just what they're I think doing. they're just the closest to us too in terms of personality and stuff. Yeah, yeah. everything hit. And we watched them and you never know when you go to do these, like if someone's gonna be a douche or not. They were so nice. They listened to our ideas. We yeah, listened to theirs. They're very like, genuine. Yeah, yeah, they're genuine and we worked together well. And it was just- Ideas were flowing and it worked well. I I, I still think of the two locations, the jail. Oh my I, gosh. From start to finish, we were getting- In the fun. daytime. That was one of the, I think the most fun I've ever had on the best. That was such a fun We place. laughed a lot, we got a lot, and it was just fun with new people, it brought yeah. in a freshness. Some people take ghost hunting way too seriously, and that's fine, that's to each their own, but I do feel like we have a good mix where we go in serious and respectful, but we're able to like laugh throughout the whole night and yeah. still like enjoy each other. Because first and foremost, tell me if I'm wrong, this was always intended to be fun with each other. You know, yeah. you know. There's a big difference between starting something as a hobby and having fun with it, versus starting something completely new and thinking this is going to be a to full time yeah, yeah. job. Yeah. No matter what it is, you have to start off something kind of just having fun with it. Well, oh, I think it's, just, it's the energy thing too. Again, if there are spirits there, they can probably sense what you're there for and what you're trying to do. And I think all of us just go in to have fun, hang out with each other. Usually and try not to find expecting something. much. Exactly. And that's usually the times that we're not expecting things is when we get some really good stuff. It's when we're expecting and put all this into it is that when we get let down. I would also say, I feel like we get the decent evidence we do because we have such a variety of uh, just perceptions yes, yes. on any other realm or whatever, mm -hmm. or like spirit world or whatever, but like half of us are skeptics. Like I know you're pretty skeptical. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty skeptical. It's just having that variety of people with just different expectations of what we're, we're gonna get anywhere, not just a specific place, mm -hmm. but what's even the reality of something. And then we get something where if we look at like Prospect Place, and I know that was mm -hmm. last year, but I'm alone in the attic and I'm seeing stuff. That scene is hard to be That night made me a believer in ghosts. That is prime yeah, like no, horror that, movie. Like if you take yeah. like the most scary moment of any of our videos and one, like that's probably it. That was the night I that's believed the best. in ghosts. Dude, that's I, the best. That was the best night, but I think the craziest evidence we've ever gotten Wait, was really? the footsteps that Waverly really do. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think one. I don't think it's like, it hasn't sunk in enough yeah. because it still feels like we missed something. Something's yeah. happening because there's no way. It was January. It was 40 degrees. No, it freezing. was 19 degrees. 19 degrees. It was freezing. The windows were open on the fifth floor, so no one is walking around that dirty concrete barefoot. Yeah. Even and then, just to mess with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. It walks up to the window when we said, come in yeah. here, and then it stops. Like, there oh, were shit. Footprints. That just gave me chills. I didn't even realize that, that it was the window looking at yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And it, the footsteps come to that window and then stop. Like, they don't turn back around. They don't go into the That's room. That's true. Somebody would have had to, like, completely dry off their feet. And we would have saw someone standing there. Yeah, yeah. we would have seen them come in from the, from the, there's only one way in. Yeah. Right, and we had a camera pointing yeah. at the door. So the prospect, I think, was the most all-around best, but, like, that evidence is insane in itself but i think it's just too insane that my brain is like you're yeah. skeptic you can't accept Dude, do you guys ever have moments in these like when you try to think about a particular place that we went and you see it on a video as you're re-watching it and you just don't Blank have... it, you're like i don't remember that yeah yeah i think sometimes for me it's randolph when i'm walking down the steps i do Hello? not remember is the rem pod going off Somebody with me. You sounded so terrified. That was the most scared you, you, did, you ever sounded. I, I literally like, I blacked out. Like, yeah. I don't remember that. Once it gets super personal, you start questioning, like, oh, wow. Even though I'm, like, I believe it. Like, I believe this stuff through and through, whatever we go. But once it gets super personal, it kind of gets scary. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Which, when we did, like, three in a row within 30 hours, I think, at least for me, I was starting to let a lot of stuff get to my head. It was just, like, I think I was getting too into it in taking everything personal of what I heard in like a spirit box or what was going on. I know Armand was talking about your kid at one point. So yeah. I was just going to say the phenomenon that's been like 
interesting me recently is just the seemingly, and it's not just one location, it's been kind of each location, but I don't know when it started, is the like, spirit box mimicking us. Mm. your point about the like, diversity of our group, I think each of us, not only different levels of skepticism, uh, personal beliefs, but like the devices that work with us and what we're yes. attuned to are different. We point. have so many Spirit different box, diverse things. You and the EMF reader, like you have the best luck with that, you're the best listener to that. You and I feel like are really good flux. Mm -hmm. Well, Sabian's yeah, really, really, really good at being the person asking the question. Yeah, yeah. which is which is That's almost true. more important than listening. Yeah, because he's pulling it out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well. One of the weirdest ones is the basement of the funeral home. Yeah. So not only did it count down, like rewatch, I rewatched that video multiple times, and it's like it's it's almost like people are talking back and forth. Yeah. And like calling us idiots, and it said like hey. bitch at one point. That was saying the most that we're aggressive, stupid. hostile. Like, I agree. Responses. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. typically wherever we go, it's very welcoming almost. Besides, like that, your your typical get out. It's not aggressive. Yeah, that one. Aggressive. And that's what I like to say is when I kind of explain it to people because we had a lot of activity on the road trip and we had a lot of activity at Prospect. But for every, like, it's the mood that goes along with those, right? Yeah. So at Prospect, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was a lot of activity, but it felt like positive or lighthearted yeah. for the most part. Like it was, well, and it was it was a lighthearted place like it, it yeah. was essentially a refugee center for yeah. individuals that were on the underground railroad exactly so it was something that was trying to it like it, during its time when it was built when it was occupied it was a place that was a safe a safe yes yeah, exactly but on the opposite end of the spectrum everywhere that we were maybe not the movie theater as much the funeral home and the octagon hall they were a lot of activity but like negative, negative. bad energy yeah. like very aggressive hostile and you feel it when you walk in yeah the coolest reactions to me is when we do a double s's method mm -hmm. and we're talking and it's going and it's answering back and forth mm -hmm. and some of that is some of the coolest evidence i think we've ever gotten that's why i think randolph as much as prospect was probably oh. the best one randolph is just underneath it maybe and i think that is our best idea concept video we had so many new things in there that mm -hmm. i think truly worked well like i i really loved our double s's there it wasn't maybe like over top visually stunning like the uh movie theater but we had the s's or like the spirit box session happening in the attic yeah. and then you were doing one downstairs too and then through the walkie talkie and it was answering through that yeah. that was yeah those are the moments to me that really solidify my belief in that this stuff is real because of how intelligent those responses are. You can't fake that. You can't, you can't, you know, mimic that and try to put it in place and all that stuff. But I think another thing that's always really, really cool, we're sitting down there talking to Doris and asking her questions like, hey, what was your favorite meal to make? And it said eggs. Like, that was crazy. Eggs, what is the, like, right the chances that's going to come through yeah. the radio? Doris, what was your favorite meal to make? Ooh. Hey. Yeah, we haven't heard eggs since then. Yeah, no. <laughs> my big thing is, I am still firmly a skeptic, but I would be lying if I said this. These hunts, especially with some of the the increased activity and responses we've been getting, haven't warped me a little yeah. bit. So we've talked a lot about our favorite experiences, favorite places that we've been to. We want to hear from you guys as well. Do you have a favorite place that we've been to? Maybe a favorite place that you've been to? If you have any favorite experiences that we've shown in our videos evidence that we've got let us know and to piggyback on trevor we're open to a lot of things so if you have any methods of your own that you've investigated tried and liked we'd love to hear about it yeah. Yeah, we're absolutely. learning we're yeah. still learning and, and that's and that's something that i don't think people see either is that every investigation that we do we honestly try to learn from to every grow. single place that we go mm -hmm. because we started this as a joke as stated a million times before yeah yeah and it's like well, you, you can know. tell it too if you've watched yeah. the videos from the beginning to oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you boys for sitting and, and talking and, and relishing on the good times yeah Absolutely. and I, I just want to say one final thing as much of this being kind of a reflection of places that we went to our experiences this past year this is really kind of a, a reflection on you guys as well audience that have tuned into this that have watched our videos whether from the start maybe you picked up the last video that we put out we just want to say 
thank you to everybody that has watched these, liked these, engaged with us. I do really well with compliments. You can throw some of those. He out. also he's a masochist. He's a masochist. So, so, so whoa. send your dirty, send your dirtiest comments. Whoa. I love you, boys. I love you too.